Welcome to this lesson, Introduction to Help Center. My name is Ali, and I'll be your guide for this introduction to Zendesk Help Center. I created this lesson working closely with the product team and other experts at Zendesk to equip you with the essentials that you need to succeed. If you're a Zendesk admin who wants to set up your help center and you're not quite sure where to start, then you're in the right place. So why do you need a help center? Think about the last time you needed some sort of customer support. Where did you start looking for help? Whether you ended up looking at knowledge base articles, posting a question in a forum, or even eventually contacting support, chances are you went to a company's website to find the information you were looking for. Well, for many businesses, a Zendesk Help Center is that website. When you set up a help center, you encourage customers to self-serve by making the information they need to answer their questions available through knowledge base articles. You also empower customers to help each other by giving them a place where they can talk to each other, share their experiences and best practices. And you give customers a place to manage ongoing requests. Okay, so how do you actually turn your help center on? Let's jump into the product and learn how to activate your help center. I'm going to start by going to Zendesk Support Admin. And from there, I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to create a new brand with a new help center so you can see what this looks like from the very beginning. A help center is the site your end users go to access your community forums, knowledge base, and customer portal. I'll name this brand and think of a subdomain for my help center. This is going to be the first part of the web address that end users see. There are a few other options here that I can come back and tweak later if I need to, but for now, I'm going to save changes to move to the next step. This creates a help center, which I can see from here. This is what end users will see when you activate your help center. This site is not visible to your end users by default so that you can set it up without them seeing it while it's under construction. This is the backend site where admins go to configure your knowledge base, customer portal, and community forums. You use this sidebar to control different parts of your help center. The part that controls whether or not end users can see your help center is accessible under the settings here. You can activate your help center whenever you're ready, but as a best practice, you should populate your help center with content before making it available to your end users. Doing this will make sure your end users don't see your help center while it's under construction. If you activate the help center out of the box, end users will see placeholder articles and community posts, as well as the default help center branding. Here we are back in the help center that you just created. The first thing you see below the search bar are the sections for your knowledge base. A knowledge base is the part of your help center that houses articles. Sections are collections of related articles, and there are two here for you so you can see how the knowledge base works. For example, this FAQ section already has four articles in it. Adding articles to your knowledge base helps you deflect tickets by giving your end users the answers to their most common questions. When they can find the solutions on their own, they get answers more quickly and avoid contacting your support team. By default, end users can follow an article to receive notifications when it's updated. They can vote on whether or not they find the article helpful, and they can leave a comment here at the bottom. In addition to reading articles that you and your team have written, end users can check the community forums to ask a question or see if anyone else already answered a similar question. Community forums are part of your help center where customers can go to discuss their questions with each other. Your end users outnumber your staff, and this is a great way to leverage their expertise. With customer forums, agents or other community members can answer a question once and help multiple people answer the same question without having to submit a ticket. You can go to the community forum from the home page or from this menu. As with the knowledge base, there's some community content in here so you can see how it works. Community content is organized into topics. 
Topics are collections of related posts. So for example, the general discussion topic has these posts in it. A post is the start of a community conversation. End users can vote on posts, share posts on social media, or respond to their own comment. Community is enabled by default, but if you want to remove it, you can do that from the settings page in Guide Admin. Deflecting tickets is great when it's something end users can solve on their own, but when they really do need to contact you, you want it to be as easy as possible. End users can contact you through your help center using the request form. which takes them to the customer portal. The customer portal is the part of your help center where end users can go to manage their requests. Requests from every channel will be shown here, where they can also see the ticket status and respond with additional information if they need to. And that's your help center. The previous demo mentions how admins, agents, and end users all contribute to a help center. You can tweak this to suit your needs, but by default, each of these roles plays a specific part in keeping your help center healthy. There are two types of users in Zendesk products, end users and staff members. End users are your internal or external customers. These are the people who are reaching out to you with questions. They may be having issues with your product and Zendesk automatically creates an end user when they reach out. Staff members are the people on your team with various roles in the product. Different types of staff members also play different roles in your help center. Viewers are staff members who can only view your content. Agents go into the community to guide the discussion by making sure that end user questions get answers. They also write articles and manage customer tickets. Admins organize the structure of your help center. Admins are the ones organizing posts and articles, moderating community conversations, and branding your help center theme. Now that you have a general idea of how the basic help center components work together, let's do a quick check. You're an admin for a company whose agents are overwhelmed by ticket volumes. You don't have the resources to write knowledge-based content just now, but you would still like to set up a self-help option to ease your agent's caseloads. Which of the following can you set up to help with this? Is it a customer portal? Community forums? a knowledge base, or guide admin. Take a few seconds to pause the video and restart it again once you have an answer. The answer is community forums. Encouraging customers to manage their tickets in the customer portal won't affect ticket volumes, and if you don't have a knowledge base yet, no answers would be there either, so your customers would still create a support request, driving ticket volume even higher. Setting up a community would let customers help each other without having to build a knowledge base. You could even use some of the best community posts as a starting point for your articles later. Before you go, here's a summary of this lesson. Activate your help center to give your customers a one-stop shop for self-service. Enable community forums to give customers a place to help each other and reduce ticket volumes. And direct customers to manage their tickets in the customer portal.